We're coming to you from the studio today, continuing this series on Texas family law, to deep dive on Texas family law. And, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't keep talking about the two things that are rocking our nation right now, the economic upheaval of the coronavirus pandemic, as well as the tragedy, uh, the death of Mr. Floyd in Minnesota. And, you know, we are listening here at our law firm. Law firm. We are listening. We are aware of the social unrest and the reason behind it. And, you know, we are praying for solidarity, healing and calm in the storm. And it reminds me of the motto of our great nation. And I don't think it's inappropriate to say it over and over and over. E pluribus unum. Out of many, one. We are one. So I've been talking about Texas family law and appointment of experts in cases, particularly amicus attorneys or amicus attorneys and ad litem attorneys. And in a lot of ways, the ad litem and the amicus, their jobs parallel, their role as officers of uh, an agent of the judge are Sometimes they, they are so blended you can't see the difference, but they are different in, in the fact that an ad litem attorney makes an appearance and is entitled to notice of hearings, to come to hearings, and those things. In addition to that, the ad litem has a role to interview children and to meet with the their clients are the children in the case, the subject of the lawsuit, and their clients are there to resolve, excuse me, their role is to help resolve issues and report to the court regarding what the children's desires are and whether those are truly in the best interest, the health, safety, welfare of the kids, and they are an advocate and speak for the children directly to you know to the court. They they come up to the they sit at council table at trial and they'll advocate as they feel is in the best interest of the children. So the role of the ad litem, while parallel, is different for the amicus, and that's kind of the point of this video series, is to kind of give you some what to expect when you have an amicus or an ad litem appointed on the case. And one of the big things that you need to expect and you need to be prepared for is the cost of an ad litem or an amicus. And that cost can be an issue because the amicus and the ad litem, depending on how long the case goes on, those fees can be significant and they are to be shared by both parents. I'm gonna get into a little bit more about that and the next video series, but you know, you need to be aware that these are costs that are coming at you that are in addition to the attorney's fees that that you pay your own attorney and the court is going to order that you pay them and the court's going to be pretty stern about enforcement because remember they were appointed by the court either at the request of a party or by the court's own motion. So the court's going to make sure that their amicus attorneys and ad litem attorneys are compensated for the time and investment into your case regarding your children. Anyway, I hope this has been somewhat helpful to give you an idea of what to expect and positive, uplifting, and informational as it was intended. Thank you again for watching. Please leave me a comment on any video platform where you see this, and I'll get back to you in a direct message or a subsequent video regarding your comment. Thanks again for watching, and see you guys back in the studio real soon.